Welcome, future CPAs, to Accounting 101. In today's class, we are going to take a look at journal entries. Journal entries are a very important part of the accounting process. Basically, what journal entries do is they record the various accounting transactions for a company or a small business. The recording is done on T accounts, which we're going to take a look at next. Another important thing about journal entries, when you're entering them, they you have to make sure that the journal entries balance. If they don't balance, that means something is off. Now let's go take a look at the T accounts that journal entries are in. Journal entries are entered in a item called a T account. Like the name, T accounts are, they're drawn like a T. T accounts um, just make it easier to visually see what the information is that you're entering. And in case you need to analyze the account, it's just easier to see it on a T account. When you're using a T account, what you always have to remember is debits go on the left side of the T account. So when you're recording a transaction and you realize that transaction is a debit, right away it, you know it goes on the left side. On the right side of a T account, that's where your credits are recorded. So if you've analyzed the transaction and you realize that it's a credit, then right away you know, okay, that has to go on the right side of my T account. Now let's look at how assets and liabilities are recorded. When dealing with asset accounts for journal entries, what you're looking at is assets are basically thought of as resources that the company or the small business owns. If it's categorized as a debit for the T account, what that means is that the asset has increased the balance of that particular account. So if it increases the balance and it's an asset, that means it goes on the debit side. If you put it on the credit side for an asset, what you're saying is that that asset decreased the account. Maybe you paid cash for an item. So that's basically how you handle assets. Let's look at liabilities. When you're looking at whether or not something is a liability account, what you're looking to see is the liability is something that the company or the small business owes someone. So if you categorize this as a liability for the purposes of the T account, let's see how you would deal with that. If it's a debit, what a debit means is that the liability is decreasing which means you're paying off a liability. When you do that, that's a decrease. That's a debit. Credits as it pertains to liability accounts mean that the liability is increasing, which means the liability has gone up. Maybe you've taken on additional liability. Let's take a look at our first journal entry. Ms. Smith has decided to start a small business. On June 1st, she deposited $4,000 into the company bank account to start the business. Our first T account is going to be cash. She deposited cash into the business. So we'll create a small T account and we will call it cash. On the right hand side of the screen, I just put a little tiny box that shows how at credits and debits are treated in assets and liabilities. So what you have to ask yourself is, is the asset going up, which is a debit, or is the asset going down, which is a credit? It's going up. That means it's a debit. So we put the date that the transaction occurred, 6-1, and then we put the amount. The amount was $4,000. Now, this has to balance. So we have to use another T account, which is considered a double entry. Most companies use this type of accounting. It's basically double entry because you have to have a, because it has to balance. It has to be a debit on one side, a credit on one side, or a credit on one side, and a debit on another side. This account is called owner's equity. 
Owner's equity is an equity account. For purposes of journal entry, it's treated similar to a liability. Debits, uh, debit for an equity account means it's going down. Credit for an equity account means it's going up. In this instance, we have $4,000 being added to the account. Is it going down or is it going up? It's going up, so it's a credit. We put down the date and we also put down the amount, $4,000. And as you can see, we balanced it. For the next transaction, I already put down the two T accounts because it's gonna be a double entry. Cash is going to be one of the accounts. So you have to remember you had an amount in cash already, the $4,000, so that remains. She received the $5,000 loan. So we need to see, is that a debit or credit to the cash account? Well, cash is going up. That makes it a debit. So we go back to the debit side. We put down the date. And then we will put down the amount, which is the $5,000 loan that she received from the bank. So cash went up by 5000 now, because we're doing double entry transaction, the other T account has to balance it. The balanced account is called notes payable. Notes payable because this is a loan that she received from a bank. Notes payable is a liability account. So is it a debit or is it a credit? Well, it's a credit because the liability is going up. We put down the date. And then we put down the amount of the transaction, which was $5,000. And once again, we balance. So now let's take a look at all the different accounts that we worked on in today's lecture and see if we're able to get everything to balance. The first account that we worked on was the cash account. And as you remember, cash is an asset account. So on the first, we had a $4,000 deposit into cash. And we also had on the fifth, a $5,000 deposit into cash. So we had 4,000 on the first, 5,000 on the fifth. At the end of June, our total for cash is $9,000. So we have so far at the end of June, $9,000 in assets. I'm just going to draw a line and let's take a look at the other accounts that we also used in June. One account was called notes payable. Notes payable is a liability account. For that account on the 5th of June, we took on an additional loan from the bank of $5,000. So our liability account went up by $5,000 because we took on a bank loan on the 5th of June. So by the end of June, what that basically means is um, we have a balance in nose payable at the end of June for $5,000. And I just draw the line just underneath the transaction just so you know okay this is the end of the month the other account that we had was the owner's equity account owner's equity is an equity account and it's always on the same side as the liability account on the first of june miss smith gave the company four thousand dollars so her stake in the company equity went up by four thousand dollars so at the end of june she still has $4,000 on the credit side of her owner's equity. $4,000 credit for owner's equities, $4,000 credit for nose payable. Her assets total $9,000. Her payable and owner's equity total $9,000. We balance for the end of June. 